What's up, YouTube goers? Sorry I'm losing my voice. Thanks for coming back to another weekly workout video. Today I'm going to talk about the assisted pull-up machine. So on this, you want to pick a weight that's actually closest to your body weight. Um, the lighter the weight you choose, the harder the movement will be. So beginners, you want to start with your body weight or a little bit more. Um, before you attempt this, always check the machine before um, you get on it to see what weight it is at. You don't want to get hurt. I'm about 90 pounds, 95 pounds, I put it on 100. You want to be careful getting on the machine, one foot at a time, balance, make sure that you're thrusting through the legs and you have secure hands before you let go. Pull up, bringing the chest up and you want to make sure that your elbows are coming up to a 90 degree angle at the top. Up, up, 90 degrees at the top. And you want to make sure that your shoulders are relaxed. And you can either look to the sky or look right in front of you. Look to the sky, look to the ceiling. <laughs> this is a second hand grip you could do. This isn't gonna, this is gonna engage your biceps more. Same thing, you want to keep your chest lifted, shoulders relaxed, and it's a little bit more than a 90 degree angle, but just listen to your body, what feels good. Try not to lock out your knees either. If you're locking out your knees, uh, maybe adjust the weight. The last thing I'm going to show you on this is a dip. So you're going to keep your hands closest to your bum, going down and up. And the main thing you want to pay attention to is your shoulders. You do not want to bring them up to your ears like this and have a shallow movement. You want to keep them back and keep the chest lifted. Dismount one foot at a time. Nice and careful. Well, that's it this week. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see y'all in the next 